Hello, in today's episode of Vintage Sky, I'm going to show you a four-engined jet glider. This project was created in 1955 by Justin Zandauer, glider designer, and Andrzej Moldenhaver, a gearhead who kept constructing race cars, powerboats, and hovercrafts. The idea was to equip the well-known SZD9 Bocian glider with four pulse jet engines. This gives away um, the name of the glider, which was called Bocian Pulse. Pulse means pulse, like the pulse in your blood flow. Generally, a pulse jet engine, now maybe a bit forgotten propulsion system, is the only engine which has no moving parts. It was generally a metal tube, which was equipped with spark plug, and after fuel and compressed air was, was uh, delivered to the tube, a series of explosions took place, they were very rapid, about 50 per second, and this created pressure changes. Pressure on one hand pushed the tube forward, and on the other hand sucked in new dose of mixture to the combustion chamber. This was an external combustion engine. It also causes great vibration, uh, gets red hot and generates immense boom. Um, there is also a risk of pressure indicated incidents that the whole thing can easily uh, implode or explode. So uh, fitting it under the wooden wing of a glider is impressive. Moreover, the sound it generated reminds people of the most famous pulse jet craft, I think the most famous, the German V1 flying bomb. V weapons were tested in occupied Poland and their sound along with uh, Stuka siren is a symbol of terror. Uh, and what we are talking about uh, took place uh, just 10 years after the war. V weapons were tested in Poland, for example, in the town of Blizna, um, near Mielec. And even today, elements of aircraft, of, of prototype aircraft like this one, can be found there. This may be an element of V1 or V2, definitely not an element of a, of a pulse jet engine, but parts of this type lie there up until today. Bocian Pulse featured four pulse jet engines designed by Stanisław Wojcicki. Uh, they couldn't touch the wing nor the ground, uh, so underwing was reinforced with aluminium and asbestos and the glider was coated with heat-resistant paint. Uh, to prevent engines from touching the ground, skids were fitted underneath. Spoilers of the glider were blocked to make room for engine fitment. Large luggage compartments of the Bocian glider were used to accommodate compressed air and fuel containers, and on the dashboard there was uh, installation to operate the engines. In fact, operating was limited to turning them on or uh, switching them off by cutting the fuel supply. Uh, engines were operated in pairs, first to be ignited were the outer ones, then the inner ones, and they were told to consume about 8 liters of fuel per hour, but as far as I know uh, this is um, not realistic, in fact they must have used at least five times more fuel. Gross weight of the Bocian increased by 115.5 kilograms, uh, but the glider was still a twin-seater, however uh, crew members could not hear each other due to the boom of um, pulse jet engines. The gross weight of the glider was 612 kilograms and it was towed aloft by twin-engined Cessna Bobcat, then it was released and engine tests were made. Glide ratio dropped from 26 to 20 and the engine system proved itself operational, uh, but it didn't meet the requirements of performance. The glider was not capable of taking off using the pulse jet engines, it could not maintain even level flight. Uh, engines allowed for the minimum sink rate of 0.3 meters per second and with engines turned off uh, the uh, glider uh, had a descent of um, as much as 1.8 meters uh, per second. Also the glide ratio dropped to 20 
compared to standard Bocian's 26. According to sources, there were between 2 and 15 test flights made, and uh, however the project was later terminated, the design of a four-engine jet wooden glider created in 1955 is impressive up until today. I hope you've learned something new and met a truly unique aircraft, and see you in future episodes of Vintage Sky. I'm Marek, thanks for watching.